is our latest product, the Little Freak. Uh, it's only been out for a few months. Um, it's basically an equalizer, and uh, we think it's the most powerful equalizer in the analog world, although that's my own opinion. Um, we have eight bands of processing. Um, and I'll just step through, talk through them real quick and then give a quick demonstration of each band. We have a high pass, which is colored. It's a third order, 18 dB per octave, eight different frequencies. And um, they all have a slight hump right before they fall off, um, keeping them warm right up until they drop off. Um, the next set of processors is a high shelf and a low shelf. Um, the high shelf is single order, very high performance and very smooth with a cutoff about 4.5 kilohertz. Then we have four bands of fully parametric EQ. Um, very high performance. Uh, we give you 15 dB of boost and cut and we give you overlapping bands as well as a wide range of Q settings. Uh, parametrics have been around for a while so I'm not going to spend much time on them. And lastly, we have a dynamic section which we call the DS section. And it can be used for DSing or it can also be used as a high frequency limiter which uh, we're very proud of. It's a, we think the first soft D high frequency limiter. Um, very smooth. Um, I'll just run through the processing very, very quickly. I'm going to use this on vocals to start with. This is a woman's vocal and um, this is very good on many instruments but vocals are especially notorious for being sensitive to frequency. Every band has a bypass and that makes it pretty easy to click in and out and compare as well as a master bypass. The shelving, uh, all very standard, can boost 6, uh, 10 dB, I'm sorry, of low end or high end. And the high end can be controlled if you boost too much be controlled by the DS section. The DS section is a crossover type dynamic equalizer and you can control the frequency of the crossover as well as a threshold. So I can take her S's out. If you, if you can see the bar graph here. The bar graph is only responding on the S's and the fricatives and it's not level sensitive it is it compares the high frequencies to the low frequencies and it doesn't care if the overall level is way down or way high. Uh, we think it's a pretty unusual feature. Uh, makes it easy to adjust the chain before without affecting the threshold that you set up. And that's probably, I don't think you'll probably be able to hear very much over the system here so let me move on to the next product 